You're stiff because your posture sucks. Could this be true? Let's explore it together. In the human body, muscles and tissues connect everywhere, and they are designed to be connected in a more or less even way. But consider if the body contorts out of its natural alignment, now those muscles and tissues are connected in not so even of a manner. Some of them are gonna be too short, and some of them are gonna be too long. And the problem is that your body will get stuck in this way. Now the reasons that this happens is sort of another issue, and I've discussed that in other videos. You can check those videos out. But it's likely that this comes from a physical holding or physical trauma or emotional holding like your nervous system or emotional trauma. But no matter the why, no matter how you ended up here, you're stuck in these contorted positions with the tissues reinforcing these positions because that's where they've learned to be. So now the tissues are tugging and pulling in these weird ways that are reinforcing this pattern of being out of alignment. Now let's talk really, really quick about what alignment is so we can understand each other in that realm. Alignment is what we have all of these bones and these bones uh, have a certain way that they should be stacked in our body. And if they're stacked in this way, then our body is mostly gonna operate smoothly. A really simple one is if you look at the ribs and the pelvis, the ribs should be stacked directly over the pelvis. But what can happen with the ribs, let's say, maybe your pelvis is stacked nicely, but the ribs, maybe they sit like this over the pelvis, or maybe one side is like this. So this is an example of us not being so stacked, not being so in alignment. So with that understood, let's say you try to do a deep squat. And when you do a deep squat, you run into an end point. But this end point doesn't feel like a nice stretch. What is it? You're running into your structure, but you shouldn't be. And this, for example, is what a hip impingement is. You're so out of alignment that when you lift your leg, you're not stretching anything. You're just hitting a bone or you're hitting other tissues that you should not be hitting. Consider if one morning you woke up, you get out of bed, and you're going to leave your bedroom. And as you're walking through where the door should be, you hit a wall. Somehow, there's a wall where the door should be. So the positioning of your body, the way that your bones are stacked or not stacked, has a huge effect on your ability to move. Now, you can try to stretch, but Stretching won't do it, at least not basic stretching. And here's why, because your structure is already out of alignment. It's sort of like if you're riding your bike and you take a fall and you bent your rim, but instead of fixing the bent rim, you try to put a new tube on the rim. You're not fixing the foundational problem. So you're stretching your muscles from an unaligned position, which could be stretching already very stretched muscles even further. Now there are ways of stretching that can be very, very useful for this, but that might need to be addressed in another video. But for example, if you understand the ways that you're out of alignment, then you could stretch very specifically into those areas, pulling yourself back into alignment and that would be a really great way to go about stretching. But let's continue into this idea of posture. So we have a bent rim or we have a wall where there should be a door. We need to address that directly. So if stretching isn't totally the way, then what the heck is? Postural work, changing the way that our bones orient to each other. This involves releasing the tension that keeps them stuck and contorted in the positions that they're in. And notice how I say releasing tension and not stretching. They're completely different things. Stretching is lengthening, whereas releasing tension is softening, letting go, and releasing. So if you want your tissues to quit tugging so crazily on your posture, then consider the idea of simply getting them to let go and release. Then things can fall back into place. Now the two best things that I think you could do for this are either working on standing or PRI. I personally have not fully engaged with the PRI system, so I can't fully speak to it. But let me tell you about standing and how effective this could be. When we work on standing, we are directly working on the alignment of our full body and full posture. Everything together from the feet 
all the way to the top of the head. First, we'll learn how to even align our body in a correct or better way. Then we're working on releasing the places that are stuck. As we get more release, because we're already working on our posture, working on bringing things back into place, our alignments can naturally fall to that place because we're getting rid of the tugging and pulling. So innately, this is a very gradual process of pulling the body back into place, back into alignment, as we release all the things that are stuck. When you begin standing, you'll find that it's actually incredibly difficult to stand for even like two minutes. You'll wanna jiggle around and move around and your body might even start shaking. When I started, I couldn't stand still for more than two minutes without having to come out and shake my body out. My body literally couldn't handle it. Guess what this means? This means that I sucked at standing, which is kind of crazy, right? This is how out of alignment, out of whack that we can be. Now consider if everything were in really good alignment and stacked really good, and then everything was soft falling around it. Then we're like a nice strong building that won't topple over even in the strongest of winds. Now, let me ask you, if you wanna improve your posture, does it make sense to work on it while you stand or while you sit? Well, these are the positions that we're in most of the day. So if you bring your work into these positions, then it will translate immensely to your movement, to anything that you wanna do in your life. Now, working on standing is not easy. It takes a skilled hand and eye to see all the things that need to be seen, that need to be fixed, to make this process very effective. You need to know what you're doing. I've been lucky enough to work with some of the best people in the world lately on this stuff, and it's changed my posture immensely. And guess what? My squat has improved, my hip impingement has improved. So if you want to try standing, I actually have a video that I've made for my clients. I'll link in the description box below. It's a follow along. You can just try it, see how it feels in your body. I think the follow along is six or seven minutes. If you find that to be very difficult, then that's a good sign for you that this is something you need to work on. So let's reiterate here. Does posture have anything to do with your stiffness? Well, I think Yes, because if you are in a crappy posture, if you're contorted in a certain way, and then you try to tug on your muscles, well, your body doesn't like to be in these contorted positions. It's not gonna respond well to what you're asking of it. But guess what? Once you pull your posture back into better positions, the body feels more willing to move. It feels more capable, more able. It, there's less resistance in the body and in the nervous system. So that's really it. That's what I have to offer in this video and for today. If you find this helpful, uh, let me know because I'll go deeper into what this stuff is and how it can be helpful and how you can use it and apply it to your life. So thank you very much for joining me today. It's a pleasure to make these videos and have these conversations with people. So much love, good luck on your journey. Peace.